Ida Keeling began running in her late 60s. At the age of 95, she set the world record for her age group in the 60-meter race. She's also the first woman in history to complete a 100-meter run at the age of 100. Keeling's latest achievement is the book titled Can't Nothing Bring Me Down. What could have brought her down was the death of her two sons within a year from each other. Well, after they passed away, I just couldn't get over both of them. So I just, I just couldn't. I felt like I was going down. I'm already short. I'm getting shorter. I'm getting meaner. And I don't want to talk to nobody. Something went wrong, and I blamed myself. Keeling says she took up running at her daughter's suggestion. I went with this run, but while I was running, I was feeling my strength, and I was feeling like I was coming up out of a hole, and I just kept on going. Despite arthritis in her fingers and knees, the 102-year-old starts every morning with stretching and some exercise, including push-ups. She encourages other people to stay physically active, regardless of age. Get up and get around. You don't sit around doing nothing. Get up and do something. Sometimes you got things that, well, oh, I don't like to do this. Get up and do it and get rid of it and look. See how different you feel. It's a big thing. The number of people who live to be 100 is relatively small, but growing. The 2010 census recorded 53,000 centenarians living in the United States, 20,000 more than in 1980. Scientists say good genes are important, but that a healthy lifestyle and exercise contribute to longevity. Zlatica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.